It, it's probably hard uh, for any of us to think about Advent because advertising wants us to think about Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and you walk into a store and suddenly they want us to be conscious of all these things and you go, oh yeah, I forgot, I have to buy this, I have to buy that. And so Advent for us, for believers, is kind of a peripheral thing. But essentially, it really does change our attitude about Christmas. Advent is um, a time to concentrate on Mary. Mary, the mother of God. Here's a young lady in her teens, maybe we not exactly know how old she was, but she, she walks into this story, a virgin, and she leaves the mother of God. And you say, well, what happened and why is Mary so important? Because I think what Mary gave up is she gave up her dream. Whatever dream she had to be who, who she was going to be, God cut in and said, I'd like you to be the mother of Jesus. And she said, yes. And that changed her whole life. That changed everything that she did. And I believe for us to enter Advent is to pay attention to Mary's yes. The, the, the disciple who said to God, I'll do whatever you ask. And as I reflect on my own life, how many times have I said yes? How many times have I said yes? I'll do probably what I didn't think I had the ability to do, or I'll do the things that uh, I'm asked to do. How many times did I do that? And if anything motivates me today, it's reflecting on Mary's yes. And so Advent, <laughs> Advent, the time of being pregnant, the time of everything changing in her body is also a time when everything changed in her life. And for us Christians, for we who believe that this woman's choice changed history, our reflection should help us see her and see ourselves. And so Mary as the model disciple is really the one who gives us a way to how do we believe today? How do we face the challenges, the invitations, the things that happen to us today? And that yes, that yes to our God is a pretty clear path.